Newguys.com presents Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Relief Windows, visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience. And by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to this week's edition of Paradise, Louisiana. I'm Gary Rasponi, and if you think you had trouble understanding me sometime, you're going to have a hard time understanding me today. I got my mask on, and just to remind everybody, to still got to be safe, still got to be careful, still got to stay at home when you have to. Chris is over there about 10 foot away. We're back at the neighborhood pond, and uh, all I can tell you is we, we got a show uh, this is springtime when we always catch some sackle and everything. And I got friends catching sackle, I got friends catching bass, speckled trout taking off. We just can't get out there in video. So I'm going to do a little rerun with the Crappy Psychic. Uh, one of the best shows we did with him talking all kind of phases of the way he fishes crappie. Uh, you know, he's done got so big now, he's traveling a lot. Uh, we're supposed to make a trip with him, but everything's been canceled. So. Uh, this is going to be the Crappie Psychic Week. Also, I'm going to dedicate this show to two of my close friends. One of them passed away. We're going to miss him. Mr. Gary Mockler, a longtime sponsor, Paradise, Louisiana, and other outdoors. Big community activist. Uh, we lost Mr. Gary last week. Terrible, terrible loss to his family. Condolences to him. The show is dedicated to him. Also, Mr. Ron Anderson. I didn't want to say him too much because he was in the hospital, but he, I hear he's doing better. He's been in the hospital a while. Mr. Ron Anderson, he was on board of Super Bowls LSU, and uh, he was the president, CEO of the Farm Bureau, which you know is one of our longest sponsors. So I want to remind everybody right now when we get started, you watch these shows and you just saw those sponsors, support them, support them. And I'm going to tell you what, our new one of our big new sponsors, the BBQ guys, they feeding thousands. They feeding thousands. Uh, hospital workers, healthcare workers, first responders, and, and most of these uh, people that are sponsors, they're doing the same thing. You know, that they, they are contributing. Coca-Cola, you see all their ads? They supporting all these restaurants and stuff and all their customers. So stay tuned for Paradise, Louisiana. We got a good show. Why choose Barbecue Guys? Because this is Barbecue Guys. Not only do we have the largest online selection of grills and outdoor furniture, top-notch customer service, affordable financing, and 3D design services to help you tie it all together, but we also know what it is you love most about outdoor living. Time spent with family and friends. Combined with our expert advice, you'll have everything you need to design your dream outdoor life. Stop by our showroom today. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract the driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to Paradise, Louisiana, Lake Buff Landing. If you see all these hundreds of cars right now, Sackle bite is on. Claude Foss, Crappie Psychic, we've been working on this a long time. We are definitely on them. Uh, we did pretty well yesterday. We had 55 in about two hours. Uh, we're heading out to some canal structure in the back of Lake Buff today. We'll be using a black and white uh, jig with the chartreuse crappie trailer and a little gulp niblet. And I'm going to put Mr. Gary on some nice sakale. I can't wait to get him out there.
All right, Mr. Gary, I want you to take everything you know about sockeye fishing and put that on the back burner because you're getting ready to learn a whole lot of new things about catching sockeye lake buff style from the crappy psychic. And I got an uns unlimited supply of these beautiful chartreuse trailers scented with my psychic sauce. Easy to rig, you just pass it through this little this little ball right there, and that's all it takes. And we're getting ready to catch some soccer. Right. Yeah, and see here? And that's it. Crappies like it. He rigged it up on my pole. He used a little different, but this is one of three or four that we get through pure fishing right here. This is a fluger, of the light on the bottom spin, and this is how he rigged it up. I like using the weighted cork because of the wind. When the wind starts blowing, you can cast the weighted carks better. right now and that, then those grass beds are underneath the water so what you want to do is you want to come you want to get right on them grass beds and then drop off that's why they're a little bit away from the bank and it's kind of early for the spawn if you was fishing the spawn you'd fish right up against the bank because that's where they would be but right now it's kind of early so they're out of ways that's why we're catching them out away from the bank yeah, fish on fish on this one got a little weight to it this has got a little weight to him. Come on, come on, play for the camera. Have I, have I been blessed the last two weeks? You know, I tell him to call me, don't call me unless they own. Mr. Clyde, he called me. He said I called 55 yesterday. And come on and catch him right now. And ain't no slab yet like he catching, but hey, I'm doing everything he says to do. Hey, Gary, the technique I use in these canals are a lot different than the technique I use out in Lake Buff. Wow, you see, I'm not right on the bank right here. I'm a little ways from the bank, and you know, about 10 foot from the bank. And I'm gonna work it out. And that's where they're suspended today. Over here, we're giving it a little pop. In that lake, I do a nice slow pull so that bait stays lower, and it, and it runs right over the top of that grass. And then mules are in that grass and they'll come up and just tear it up. And, and I want to get you in that lake sometime in February and March, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'll get to show you that. Oh, yeah. Getting a little bigger, Mr. Gary. Pigskin. Look at that. I'm getting ready to eat a sack later. Caught yesterday. Fried fresh. Mm -hmm. That's good, Mr. Clyde. Take care of me. Well, we have a website. It's uh, www.thecrappypsychic.com. Uh, you call us. My personal cell phone number is on there. And it has a retail outlet button on it. If you hit that retail outlet button, it'll show you all the stores from Georgia all the way to Louisiana that carries my baits. And uh, if you go crappie fishing or speckled trout red fishing, you want to use these scented trailers. They help you put more fish in the boat. You can catch fish without them, but you can catch more fish with them. I not only make the baits, but I do guide trips. If you're interested in catching some sockeye, I even do catfishing guide trips. I want to thank you. Uh, I wouldn't be telling you on TV it was that. I'm not, he's not a sponsor, he's just a fisherman, and I told him I wanted to do a show. I saw Tony back the other day, they caught a bunch of fish, or a few fish, so Tony's been a very good friend, and uh, the second one, I'm ready to go. When you get on in February, March, I'm looking for you. February and March, we'll get you on the big, big slabs, and that'll be in the lake itself, I can't wait. You watch watching Paradise, Paradise Louisiana. Louisiana.
The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. Hi, I'm Blaine with BBQGuys.com, and today we're out on Bayou Fountain, and we're going to catch some fish and grill them up on the Weber Q. Got a nice mud cat here. They're fun to catch, but the fish I'm looking to grill today are brim and bass. I'll throw this one in the ice chest. Now that we have a few fish for the grill, I'll see what I can catch on cut bait. This right here is one of my favorite fish to catch for sport. This is a bowfin, or as it's called locally, a shoe pick. They bite down like a bear trap, so be sure to be careful when handling them. Now this one's a fighter. It looks to be around 25 inches long. This is a really nice fish. Now that we got some fish, let's fire up the grill. Since I'm grilling the brim and bass whole, I'll start by scaling them. If you don't have a fish scaler, a spoon like the one I'm using today works just fine. Just work your way from the tail to the head of the fish and give them a dunk in some water to clean them up. Now since the brim are small, it's best to remove the head to make gutting them easier. For the bass, make a small incision under the gills, then cut down the belly and remove the guts. Now for the stuffing. I'll slice some fresh lime and lemon. Leaving the lemon and lime peel on will let all those flavorful oils infuse in the fish while they grill. For a spicy kick, I'll slice some jalapenos to throw them in the mix as well. Next, I'll make some compound butter, starting with a few cloves of chopped garlic and some chopped parsley for a fresh kick. I'll throw in about half of the bunch. Now just dice up some room temperature butter and add it to the mix. Season to taste with your favorite Creole seasoning blend and mix everything to incorporate. I want all of these flavors to infuse into the fish from the outside as well, so I'll score the outside of the fish before coating it with compound butter. Now we'll just throw some butter into the cavity of the fish before stuffing it with sliced lemon, jalapeno, and lime. Finish it off by coating the outside of your fish with generous amounts of compound butter, and it's time to hit the grill. I have my Weber Q set to medium-high heat, and I season the cooking grids with some coconut oil to keep the fish from sticking. All right, I'll let the fish grill with the lid closed for about three minutes. Then the brim should be ready to flip a couple minutes before the bass. These are grilling up nice. Now I'll go ahead and flip the bass. Beautiful. After about five minutes on the second side, it's time to get these guys off the grill.
There's nothing better than fresh fish on the grill. And remember, at BBQGuys.com, we smoke the competition. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? It's that time of year. CCA Star Tournament time. We might have a star winner, folks. Don't miss your chance for more categories, more prizes, and more smiles. Young and old, there's a division for everyone. You can win a truck, RV, boat, and much more. Sign up today for a chance to become an early bird winner. The fun starts Memorial Day weekend. Visit CCA Star to get your ticket today. Why choose Barbecue Guys? Because this is Barbecue Guys. Not only do we have the largest online selection of grills and outdoor furniture, top-notch customer service, affordable financing, and 3D design services to help you tie it all together, but we also know what it is you love most about outdoor living. Time spent with family and friends. Combined with our expert advice, you'll have everything you need to design your dream outdoor life. Stop by our showroom today. Back to Paradise, Louisiana. Berkeley Abu Garcia Fish Report, and I'm also going to give you a short news report. And before I get started, let me tell you what. And for these gnats eat me up today, <laughs> they're bad everywhere. Everywhere I hear right now, they're bad, especially those buffalo gnats going up to a Concordia in certain areas. And uh, I hear Chris talking about them, Morganza. Them buffalo gnats are bad. This is the best thing I've found. Okay, I've been doing, using this for 20 years. When it first come out, stuff they use in Vietnam got a lot of deed in it. It's called ultrasound. Don Dubuque, Joe McAloose and them, they use that amber romance. They use skin so soft and a lot of them, a lot of them other things. So that, that's another little report I'm giving you in the news. Another news, I want to congratulate CCA. Don't forget to sign up for the star. Now, CCC had, had their, their virtual drawing the other day. Uh, live auction, you know, on Facebook, uh, tremendous success. Uh, I had a lot of friends of mine that, uh, you know, got prizes, donated a lot of, do donated a lot of money. And uh, my, my, my good buddy, Tommy Vadreen, he, he donated a fishing trip. They brought a lot of money. They had, a, it was very successful. Let me put it that way. And don't forget to sign up for the star. Don't forget if you go fishing, be sure to take care of them nets. I might have to put this mask back on because uh, they, they eat me up right now. They not they not landing or biting, but they still bother me flying around my eyes. So I'm gonna make this quick. This is a I'm gonna go see a fishing report right now. I'm gonna start at shoreline and we got a good report uh, all over catching fish. Talked to Rad during the week. It made Friday morning. And uh, they, they caught fish, and there were people all over. Their landings, the landings were full. Uh, they caught um, and limits and big trout, and they were catching them on live shrimp and on some plastics, okay? But, but, but they had live shrimp. Uh, Grand Isle, Tommy Vidreen and some of them other people that are over there, I think they're going to start letting you back in. You know they had a controversy. Uh, even if you had a camp, you had to have some kind of proof or you was paying your bills or whatever. Uh, I think that's going to be corrected this week. So if you're going to Grand Isle, you still got to be safe. Now, I'm telling all y'all to go fishing. I'm telling you, all these landings are full. Uh, Island Marina, I went by there uh, Saturday, and uh, it, it was packed. I, I, I took a little video. You could see it was tremendous, a, a bunch of people there. And it was the middle of the day, and they were still out. So they're catching fish. I happened to talk to uh, Captain Kiss Roberts. He was there. Uh, I talked on the phone with Dudley Vanderboer and them, and they're getting a lot of cancellations, but these are people coming from out of town. Uh, they're people that are coming, you know, from out of state and everything, and the corporate sponsors. They're bringing groups of people, and 
so they can't go to their lodges. Charlie Thomas and them are having the same trouble, but they're all catching fish, so if you want to go, you can call it. They will keep you safe. They will keep you safe and tell you how to be safe when you come on down and go fishing. Uh, another one has been coming, like I said, Mike Gallo and them are fishing. I see his truck there, all of them. And Island Marina, I talked to all the, all the guys, Clint DeArmas and them catching fish when they can get out. They're getting a lot of cancellation. Uh, Brad D'Alfonso would uh, spec that. I saw his truck there and I talked to him and uh, he, they, they, they moaning, they, they losing. They losing a lot of sponsors. There are a lot of people coming back. They don't know when it's gonna be safe to come back. But I'm telling you now, if you wanna make a trip right now and you don't wanna go in your boat, you wanna go yourself, you call those captains and they will take care of you and tell you how to be safe and they'll be sure you're safe because they want to be safe. They all got families. Uh, I, got, I got some pictures coming in. Uh, one of them is bad. My, my good friend, Mr. Tom LeBlanc, they were in Delacroix, and they're, they're struggling to find fish. Other people I talked to in Delacroix are killing the fish. I told Tom he got to call me. I'm going to take him, or he got to start going around Island Marina and Ponch, Ponchon Train because, Tom, you deserve it. You and your best and buddies. Y'all deserve it. Y'all go all the time. Y all, all the, over the years, y'all been selling us some very good reports, too. So I want to wish you good luck. Uh, my baby here, oh, oh, my good friend Randy Young, they were fishing the Calcasieu uh, jetties, and uh, hence she caught her first redfish and a red rum. That's Miss Rose. That's Miss Rose. Thank, congratulations, Rose. Stay on the water. Uh, uh, my good friend in South Carolina, um, Martin Mouton, he's sending me, he's just showing me that they can catch fish all over. They've been catching those shrimp well right down deep, but here they are, they, they had a good catch of redfish, him and his buddies. So I'm going to see what else I got right here. I don't want to miss nothing. Uh, I could tell you, Dudley and them, are, they're fishing the pond train. It's muddy, somebody else, but they're going down them live shrimp and they're catching fish. You want to get an up-to-date report? On anything, you know, you can start off with Chaz. Chaz is at uh, Dockside TV. He's also on, on Instagram. It's right after he comes back fishing, he puts them on Instagram. And def definitely he's on, on YouTube. Also the paper, Joe Macaluso, for years, legendary. His reports in the paper are always good. Sportsman Magazine, Marshall Bayou. Any of those places you go to their website, you can get reports. Toledo Bend, now I'm getting ready to go to Freshwater. Toledo Bend, uh, when you, if you want to check something out, you, you, you look at the Lake Country or the Sabine uh, Tourism, and they will give it to you. Now, the reports I'm getting right now, I'm going to start off with Bayou Bend Venue. I call it Freshwater because there's did a lot of freshwater, but that's where a lot of bass are being caught. Bass are being caught all down and, and off of Lake Bourne, off of... Uh, uh, excuse me, I'm taking Lake Bourne, Lake Catherine, uh, the Intercoastal Canal, uh, the Mr. Go. They're catching bass all over in the canals in the marsh. One other thing I wanted to tell you, uh, what's really turned on is historically, is like you say, Chris Roberts was telling me, they're catching those fish at the rigs in Lake Bourne. Now, lake, talking about lakes, Lake St. John. This is a picture I got. This is a good friend of mine, uh, Chris, and his son, Taylor. Uh, beautiful string of fish, over 15 pounds right there. You see a bass. Caught them on spinnerbait in Lake St. John. Homemade short truce and white spinnerbait. Uh, lake and Cardi, I'm getting reports from there. All the lakes up there, all these contained lakes, and one itself, they have no high water from the river. Lake Bruin, another one, they're catching bass and sacale. False River, same thing. Still the catfish are going. People catching catfish on crankbaits. They're catching catfish on, on any other thing they throw down there. They fish shrimp, catfish bait, night crawlers, whatever you're doing, they're catching fish, uh, catfish in False River and also bass. Uh, the Mississippi and the Chaffalaya River pits. Now, this is a big secret on this. A lot of these places are posted. You can't be there. So if you got to have permission, if you ride the levee, they don't want you on the levee right now with high water. Uh, Army Corps engineers, somebody might tell you you can't go in. But check them out, and if there's a place in there, let you go. 
Some people got pits on their property where the river. I know that's the same way up in Letchworth and all those paper. That's where my, my mother-in-law had property. That's why we used to fish the pits legally. And, and it's good. The pits are holding fish right now. All right. Now, also these private lakes and these private ponds and these subdivision lakes. You either got to be a member or be fishing with a member. You can't just go on any one of them, pull over there and start fishing. Uh, they spend a lot of money. They pay a fee to, to keep them up. So just remember that now. I, I, all I can tell you is that right now, go fishing. Uh, the freshwater fish, I'm telling you right now, has been unbelievable. Pat's Bay, still catching fish in that area. The Lake Verret area. All the, all the areas down in the marsh that buy black, they're catching sacule and bass. Anything else I hear, I'm going to get out of here right now. I'm going to remind you all again, keep praying. Say enough, keep praying for Mr. Anderson. And, uh, and, again, and once again, I want to tell you all, pray for me. Pray for all the people you see in this TV business. But the main thing in the world right now, they're health care workers, those people. I got a lot of them in my family, doctors and nurses and everything, and all over, and the first responders right now. You see what the National Guards are doing. They, they're going and picking up bodies. They're exposed to this. Still serious condition. Only way we're going to beat it is to be smart, listen to our political leaders or our elected officials, and pray. Pray hard. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. God bless Louisiana. BBQGuys.com presents Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, and by Farm Bureau Insurance.